Yesterday, it was in the bike shop getting some new oil, a new rear tire, and a new chain. And uh, today, it is in the car wash getting to be cleaned up. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, I've, I've noticed that it's rubbing on the tire. I gotta be careful with that. It seems to be very conscientious. It's worried about uh, removing anything that could get wet, but I have removed everything that could get wet already. It is in dire need of a wash. It's only been washed once since I left Kamloops, and that is uh, almost 90 days ago now. My friend is Angela, just putting her stuff in a locker while she goes into the bank. And I am going to try and withdraw some money out of the ATM. I see a couple in there. I hope that they work. Unlike some of the bank holes in Paraguay that did not work. We'll see how it goes here. Well, after five attempts at several different uh, ATMs, I was unsuccessful in getting money with a bank card or a credit card. So we will try another bank or one of the ATMs in the malls that I was successful at in another city. Rosangela's going to see if she can work some magic here at the bank and make something happen. We'll see. If not, there are other bank machines that do work. We'll find one of those if we can't get any money here. Well, what I learned here is that the Bank of Brazil only deals in Brazilian reals. No foreign, foreign currency of any kind. So we have to find another bank machine that does deal in foreign currency. Well, Rosangela and uh, her daughter Larissa are taking me to the restaurant and her other daughter, Rayersa, is going to meet us here. But uh, this apparently is a very popular restaurant, so come in and check this out. It's another buffet dinner, which is exactly what we had yesterday at a different restaurant. But, uh, this one appears to be even more popular. Hey Larry, say Hello. hi to everybody on YouTube. Hello everybody on YouTube. Here is Larissa from Brazil. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. Okay, we'll, we'll meet up with your sister in a few minutes. Yes, we are waiting for my sister. She's coming, Haissa, and it's a pleasure. <laughs> it's a pleasure. <laughs> This is Rose Angela, who's been looking after me for the last couple of days, and uh, she's a wonderful host, and I'm very happy to hear, be here. Say hello. Hello. I'm Rosangela, but I don't speak English. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's okay. We've been doing very well with our translating apps on Google Translate, so we're making things work. Good evening. I'm in Londrina. Brazil, it's 7.30 on Christmas Eve, and I am about to have an experience of a lifetime. I am going out for dinner at Sonia and Ayrton's son's place, Pedro's, for dinner tonight for a traditional Brazilian Christmas dinner. I didn't realize, but their traditional Christmas dinner is turkey dinner, but I'm sure it's gonna be with a Latin American flair and all the uh, dishes that would go with that. So I'm really looking forward to it. Nobody in Latin America thinks about eating before eight o'clock. So we're gonna get there at eight or quarter after eight whenever we arrive. And I'm sure we won't eat until nine and then festivities will go on until about midnight. And uh, after that, they'll bring me back here. I am really looking forward to this. This is an opportunity of a lifetime. The last four days have been absolutely fabulous. I arrived here four nights ago, and the first thing that happened is that I got invited to a 90th birthday party, and I had absolutely no clothes to wear. So I had to go out and buy a full set of clothes to wear to that birthday party, which I am wearing again tonight to go out for dinner for the Christmas dinner at Pedro's place. So I'm getting good use out of the clothes that I bought. I've been staying at Los Angeles place. Uh, we've been out looking, uh, touring the city. Went out for lunch two days in a row. And uh, yesterday we went out for lunch with both of her daughters and I got to meet both of them. And uh, it was a really good experience chatting with them. Today, Rosangela took off to Sao Paulo to spend uh, the next couple of weeks with her mom and dad. That's where they live. And so I'm here uh, by myself tonight. And tomorrow morning, I am going to take off at nine o'clock and start heading towards uh, Florianopolis, where I'm going to meet Jane. I'm not sure if I'll get there one day. It's 630K, and uh, that's a long ways on a, a dual sport 
especially uh, on the roads here that go through all the little villages. So most likely I'll get, I hope, over halfway and then uh, make it there early the next day and spend the day with Jane and spend the night in Florianopolis and then uh, head on towards uh, Buenos Aires where I'm going to meet Suzanne on the 1st, uh, which I'm really looking forward to. So uh, that's the itinerary. So I am going to uh, take my camera with me to the party and try and get a little bit of footage of the Christmas dinner without being too obnoxious. So uh, stand by and let's go out for dinner. I'm waiting outside Rosangela's apartment, waiting to get picked up by Ayrton, uh, Sonia's husband, uh, before we go for dinner. But I just want to talk a little bit about Londrina. There's not a lot of video of Londrina because uh, Londrina is not an old city. It's quite a new city, so there wasn't uh, a historical center with a lot of unique and cool old buildings to look at. It's only, I don't know how many years old, uh, but not very old. And uh, it's about 560,000 people in the Civic Center and in the metro area is about 900 and some thousand. So it's not a very big city. It's not old and it's fairly modern. It's got great streets, uh, good infrastructure, all modern buildings. So uh, it's not unlike any other city in, uh, in Canada. As a matter of fact, I think some of the cities in the United States are older than Longrina. But it's an agricultural center in southern Brazil. It's uh, very affluent here. More affluent than cities in the north, I understand. Like I said, when I was driving up here, there were crops of all kinds as far as the eye could see. Cattle farms everywhere. They said the four, last four years haven't been that good under their current president, but they're hoping with a presidential change, it's going to be better. It doesn't look like anybody he's hurting here. It looks very much like a first world city in Canada. All right, we've arrived at Pedro's place and... Pedro! How's it going? Good, very good, very good. Good nice to see to you see again. You. Good to see you as well. And the table looks fabulous. This is my Hi, wife, Paula. Paula. Your wife? Hi, Paula. How are you? Good, Glad how are you? Glad to meet you. I'm Duncan. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Good? I just have to take a little bit of video of Pedro's beautiful house. This is absolutely amazing. Wow. This is great. And this is where we're going to sit and have a beer before dinner. This is uh, super. You have an absolutely beautiful house. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Pedro, this is amazing. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, this is interesting. Hi, hi. This is an absolutely gorgeous house. I've been sitting here for 30 minutes and I just looked over and noticed that there was a pool sitting right here, right beside me. Normally, they would wait until after midnight before they would uh, open the gifts uh, for the kids, but this little fellow is not feeling too well, so they're going to open the gifts now and then he can go to bed and relax. But, uh, they're pretty excited. Well, the meal has started and everybody's lining up to uh, fill their plates and sit down and enjoy this wonderful meal. I was a little surprised to find out that turkey is a tradition here as well. There's a few other dishes here that are probably a little different, so uh, I'm interested to uh, try this out. This will be fabulous. So this is dessert. French toast with ice cream. It's decadent. Pedro, thank you so much for inviting me. Yet, uh, You've been a wonderful host, Thank and uh, it's just been a magnificent evening. Oh, it's a pleasure. Yes. A pleasure having this experience with us. Oh, it's, it's my pleasure, for sure. Thank you. Good morning. It's December 25th, about 11 o'clock in the morning, and I am on the road. I've been on the road for about two and a half hours, and I'm on my way from Londrina to Florianopolis, where I'm going to meet up with another friend of mine, Jane, whom I met on the Camino, the same time I met uh, Rosangela and Sonia. So I'm looking forward to saying hello to her. I just had to stop and put the rain gear on. It was supposed to be sunny today, that's why I wanted to leave today, but uh, Apparently that's not the case. It's raining right now and it's just a drizzle, but if you ride in a drizzle long enough, you end up soaking wet. So I put my rain gear on and I'll continue on my way. I may not get all the way to Florianopolis today. It's about 630 miles or kilometers. Yeah, I'll see how far I get and uh, get all the hotel for the night and then get to Florianopolis very early tomorrow and visit with Jane for the day and then spend the night there and then head on so let's go for a ride all okay hey you coming from canada 
Oh, can't believe it. Yeah, really? No. Where are you coming from? Ah, shit, Canada, man. Yeah. No way. <laughs> hey, man. You, you get out from Canada when? September 28th. Wow. Yeah. How come you're walking? You okay? I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm, I, I have to walk on the hills because I rest my legs and my butt. Yes. Yeah. I can't just go and when the hill is so steep yeah i can't well just yeah, walk up that's great yeah yeah and i i'm on the fourth day of my travel get out from Longdrina. oh from Longdrina. that's there yeah i stayed six nights in Longdrina. Oh, yes you like it yes i had some friends there so i stayed with them and spent christmas there yes last night and that's, good that's really nice. good i, I passed the christmas alone oh hotel <laughs> you had a hotel by yourself yeah oh sorry to hear that happy christmas merry Indeed. christmas <laughs> and now i am i'm going to curitiba and guaracasaba okay and uh, there's some islands littoral do paraná islands so is it I, near Florianopolis? No, 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 no. The islands from Paraná, ah. not Santa Catarina. Okay. It's some islands that it's just a village of fishmen. It's just so calm and so peaceful. There's no so much people there, you know. I hope I get there soon. You will. You just have to keep going. And you okay. get you you are going to Ushuaia? Yes, I am. That's okay. three more months. Yeah. Good travel for you, brother. Okay, good travel. What's your name? Duncan. Duncan. And yours? Arthur. Arthur. Yeah. Well, I wish you good travels, Arthur, and a Merry Christmas. Yes, man. Merry Christmas. Okay, you take care. You, bro. Just after lunch, on my way to Florianopolis, and it started raining again. I just took my rain pants off about half an hour ago, but uh, I rode into another rainstorm, so I have to stop and put it back on. That's, that's what it's looking like right now. So much for my nice clean bike. Good morning. It's nine o'clock on December 26th, and I am in Joinville, Brazil, in southern Brazil, on my way to Florianopolis to uh, visit, spend the day with my friend Jane and her family, spend the night there, and then move on uh, towards Buenos Aires, Argentina, where I'm going to be meeting Suzanne on. January 1st. So, let's enjoy the ride. I met these bikers in front of me in the lineup to the tolls. And uh, we've been in uh, congested traffic now for quite a while and we've been lane splitting the whole way, so we're not getting held up as much as the cars. This is relatively sane compared to uh, other cities I've lane split in, such as Guatemala City. This is actually quite calm and civilized comparatively. At least on motorbikes, we're not sitting on the road almost stopped. We're, we're moving along at quite a good clip. At least twice as fast as the cars, but about half the speed that uh, the that, that, uh, normal speed limit is. These guys are taking it to another level. Brazil! the top now for about 10k and it doesn't look like it's going to end anytime soon so still lane splitting these uh the cars are stopped dead right now at least we're moving i've been lane splitting now for about 30 kilometers and it's no end in sight this is uh the most insane traffic i've ran into in the entire trip i have no idea what's going on here but it is boxing day and I suspect it's all the traffic coming out of the uh, interior cities heading to the beaches on the east coast. For the past couple of hours I've been riding on the busiest road I've been on so far this trip. It's been insane. It's all holiday traffic of people heading to the beach. That's the thing to do. Not only is this Christmas break, New Year's break, it's also summertime break in the middle of their summer. And all the families and people are heading out to the beach to spend the next couple of weeks of their summer 
on the beach. Look at the other side over here. Nobody's moving. That traffic has been stopped for an hour. People are standing outside their vehicles. Insane. All stopped. Nothing is moving on that side. There it is, the Atlantic Ocean. My first glimpse of the Atlantic Ocean. This is Florianopolis, massive megatropolis city. I didn't realize what I was getting into when I uh, agreed to come here. Crazy! So I'm getting very close to Jane's place right now. Let's see what happens here. We'll go up and around. Okay, I am right down on the coast, on the outside coast of uh, Florianopolis Island. Well, I'm getting closer. 400 meters and I turn right. But this looks like a wonderful neighborhood. Okay, we're turning right. There's the ocean, right there. Okay, right. And then right. What a beautiful little seaside resort. Okay, okay, okay. It is... Next one. Here. There is Jane. I haven't seen her in nine years. Hello, my dear. How are you? Hello. So good to see you. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. <laughs> I cannot believe it. Wow. Come. No, no, no. I was what coming. Happened? I didn't know if I would have time, but I made time. Good. 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 I couldn't come all the way here without seeing you. I knew I would be in deep trouble. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Why don't you bring the motto? I'll go get it and bring it in. Yeah. I'll be right back. Well, great to see her. Woo. Okay, I'm going to bring the motorbike in and uh, get these clothes off. And hopefully uh, have a cup of coffee and something to eat. I'm getting a bit hungry. <laughs> 